Hi everyone, I have a stamina workout for you today. Stamina are my more high intensity workouts. We're gonna get your heart rate up. Um, I've had a lot of requests again for jump board. So we're gonna add your jump board on today. It is not going to be a full jump board class, um, just know, but we will alternate jumping to reformer, jumping to reformer, and it's all just to get your heart rates up. So put your jump boards on grab a ball for a prop, and then we're gonna start on one heavy spring on your reformers or one uh, red spring on my balanced body reformer. So one heavy, and our focus is going to be unilateral work today. So working the right side and the left side separately so we can get even work throughout the right and left. Let's lie ourselves down. Headrest can be up or down. That is up to you, whatever you prefer for jumps. And we are going to start right away with some jumps just to warm up our bodies. Now, when I jump, I do not do a neutral spine. So I prefer flat back position. So if you guys can, let's go into a nice flat back position, not a neutral spine for our jumps. The right foot is gonna be on the jump board. Left knee is gonna be up into our tabletop position. We're gonna do 10 jumps on the right leg and then we're gonna do 10 jumps on the left. So already on our exhale, we're gonna jump out with the right, inhale, land. Exhale away, inhale back. Now, every time I jump out, I'm drawing my abs in to my back. Exhale out, inhale back. We have five. Just warming up those legs. And then on our last one, let's switch to the left. Ready, exhale away. Inhale back, right knees in that tabletop position. Again, I'm keeping my low back flat down into the mat today. And every time I jump out on my exhale, I'm drawing my abs in. We have four more on this left. Two and one. Okay, then once we come back in, we can pause in. We're gonna alternate now right, left, right, left. We'll do 10 jumps on the right leg, 10 jumps on the left. So right foot is on, left knee tabletop, so 20 jumps total. We exhale, we jump out with the right, we switch to the left. We exhale, we out with the switch, jump with the left, switch to the right. So we're alternating right and left. Exhale out, <clears throat> inhale back. Okay, we're halfway there. Good. Think that pelvis stays nice and still as we switch. Again, I'm keeping my low back down into the mat today. Exhale away, inhale back. Five more. Three, two, and one. Okay, then once we come in, we're gonna pause back in. That is our quick warm up. We're gonna grab just our right strap into our hand. It is up to you if you go long loop or short loop. Long loop is lighter for your arm, short loop is heavier. Right arm is gonna go straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna come into our neutral spines now. Left arm is gonna be at our side. Knees go up into a tabletop position. Legs are zipped together. On my exhale, I'm gonna pull my right arm straight down to my hip. Inhale as I return back up. Exhale to pull straight down. Inhaling as I return, feeling my right lat engage. Now, as we pull and return, we're trying to keep our torso and our pelvis still. I'm holding onto my shoulder block with my left hand just for a little extra stability. I feel a little wobbly today. We're exhaling to pull, scooping into those low abs. Inhale back up. We're gonna go for two more. Exhale, pull, inhale, return. Now the next time we press our arm down, hold it there, bend our elbow, tricep, press. Exhale to press, inhale, bend again, long loop or short loop, that is up to you. Elbow can either hover off the carriage or it can be relaxed down. If you relax it down, it makes it a little easier. We inhale, we bend, we exhale to press that palm down. Let's go for three more. Two, think bra line, stay heavy. Last one, now when we press, we hold at the hip, we open our arm out to the side of the room, we reach it up to the ceiling, we pull down to our hips for our circles. We go out, up, and then we exhale to pull back down to our hips for our circles. Again, keep your torso, keep your pelvis still. If you need to hang on to your shoulder block with your left hand for a little extra stability like myself, you can always hang on. All right, the next time we press it to the hip, 
hold it there, reverse, we go up to the shoulder, out to the side, we exhale to press. It's gonna be a little more challenging in that direction. Really feel your lat engage, feel that bicep engage. We're gonna get into those deltoids as well. Exhale, up, open, scoop into those abs for two, and then last one. Okay, when we come up, we're gonna pause, relax our feet down, hang that strap up, same thing on the left side, long loop, light, short loop, heavy, whatever you used on the last side. Arm is gonna go up to the ceiling, right hand can be at your side or you can grab onto your shoulder block. Knees in a tabletop position, we're in a neutral spine, we exhale to pull our arm straight down, we inhale to return back up, we exhale to pull straight down, we inhale, we return back up with control. Down, feel that lat engaged. Inhale, return. I'm scooping into my low abs every time I press. And inhale, back up. Let's go for four. Two more before we start our triceps. And then last one. Now we hold down at our hip. We bend our elbow for our tricep press. We exhale to press. We inhale to bend. Now just make sure every time you bend your elbow, you're not letting your wrist bend with that elbow. So keep that wrist nice and long the entire time. Inhale to bend. Exhale to press. Holding your neutral. Keep those legs zipped together. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. For three. Two, if you need to change to that short loop or long loop, you can hold at your hip, ready? Out to the side, up to the ceiling, pull down for your circles, out, up, exhaling as we pull back down. Again, I'm scooping into my abs, I'm keeping my legs zipped together, my knees are staying over my hips for three more circles in this direction. Okay, now on this last one, we hold at our hip, we reverse, we go up, out and then we exhale to press our hip. Up, out, exhale, press. Again, it's gonna be a little more challenging in that direction. So if you need to grab onto your shoulder block, do so. If you need to change to a different strap or even a spring, you can. We have two, last one. Then once we come up, relax feet. Hang that strap back up. We're back in two jumps. We're gonna add in some abs this time. Right foot is gonna stay on the jump board, left knees up into a tabletop position. Arms are gonna be at your sides. We're gonna curl up into an abdominal curl. Now, you have the option to either keep your hands at your sides or to take them behind your head. We're gonna do 10 jumps with the right leg, 10 jumps with the left, holding a curl. Exhaling out, inhaling back. Again, hands can either be behind your head or at your sides, it's up to you. Stay curled from your bra line. Again, we do not have to be in our neutral spines here for our jumps. We're gonna go for three, two, last one, then we switch to the left, out, 10. Draw those abs in, five, Four, two, and one. Okay, then once we come back, we can relax our heads, bring our carriages all the way back in. Now, once we come in, we're gonna alternate right, left, right, left. Again, 20 times, so 10 on each leg. We are back into our curls. Hands can either be behind your head or at your sides, right foot on. Ready, exhale, jump out, switch to the left, jump, switch to the right. Exhale to press, inhale back. Stay in your curls. Eyes should be looking to your abs. If you need to, give your necks a break, then those hands go behind your head. If the hands are behind your head, elbows are wide. We're halfway there. Exhale away, inhale back. Scoop into those abs every time we jump out. We have four, three, two, and last one with the left. When we come in, relax the feet, give it a little break. Now, we're gonna stay with our core. Work, hands are going to go behind your head. We're gonna add in a rotation next. Again, it'll be the right foot on the jump board first, 
left knee into a tabletop position. Every time we jump out, we're gonna go right elbow to our left knee, land back center, jump, rotate to the left, land back center. So we're gonna do 10 jumps with the right leg, and then we'll switch to the left, 10 jumps with the left leg, rotating to the right. Curl up, hands behind your head. Right foot on, left knee tabletop. When we jump, we rotate left, we land center, jump, rotate left, land center. 10 total, exhale out, inhale back again, that pelvis stays in the same spot. We rotate as always right from our bra line right around that rib cage. Three more. Two. Last one. Ready? We're going to switch to the left. Left leg jumps out. We rotate right. We land center. Stay in your curls. Rotate from your bra lines. Get right into those obliques. Six. Three. Two. One. And relax. Okay. Now, when we alternate, we are going to go ahead. Same thing. Right foot is going to be on. Left knee tabletop. We're going to jump switch. Land with both legs back in. Then you're going to jump out with just the left leg, rotate to the right, land with both feet, jump with the right leg, land with both feet, jump with the left leg, land with both feet. Again, we have 10 on each side, 20 total. Hands behind the head, right foot on, left knee tabletop. We jump out, we rotate left, we land with both feet. Then we jump out with the left, we land with both feet right, land both. Alternate right and left when we rotate. Exhale out, inhale back, and in, in. We have 12 more. We're halfway there now. 10, stay in those curls, rotate from those ribs from your bra lines. Six more, three on each side. Three, try to hold those curls. Two, last one, oh, and land. Okay, feel free to stretch. We are going to go ahead, grab our right strap back into our hand. Now, once we grab the strap, same thing as before, long loop light. Short loop heavy, right arm is gonna go up to the ceiling. Right over your shoulder, we're finding our neutral spines. Left arm can be at your side, it's gonna stay there. Knees go up into a tabletop position, legs are zipped together. We're gonna to do one curl. So we're gonna exhale, press curl, hold yourselves here. If you need to hold on to the carriage to stabilize a little better, you can hold on to the carriage. We're gonna inhale, reach the left leg out. Exhale in, just the left leg out. And arms stay long, try to hold those curls. If you're getting pulled a little too much, you can always change to that long loop. Four, three, try to keep your pelvis still. Two, one, return. Okay, hang your right strap up. Grab the left. I switched to the long loop. I'm gonna keep it on this side. Arm is up to ceiling. Knees go up into a tabletop position. One curl, hold, ready? Right leg out, exhale in, out. And feel free to hang on to the sides of your reformer for a little extra stability. Engage your obliques, hold your curls. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, hang that strap up. We're gonna sit to the right side of our reformers. Moving into some leg and some glute work. When we sit to the right side, grab your balls. They're gonna go right where your shoulders, right around where your bra line would usually be, maybe a little lower than your bra line. Headrests are down. Your right form goes into your headrest. The ball is going to now go right underneath your waistline, right around your ribs. When it is here, hips are stacked, our shoulders are stacked. We're still in this one red spring. We're gonna grab the strap that's right out in front of us. Long loop goes onto the top foot. When you get it here, both knees are bent at a 90. 
Again, hips stacked, shoulders are stacked. Top leg, left leg is gonna lift, hip distance. We're gonna exhale, push our left leg out and slightly back, and we're gonna inhale, bend to come back in. So we exhale, we press, we give it a little kick back. We inhale back. This leg needs to stay parallel to the floor. Foot needs to stay parallel. Now, when we're here, I want you to think you're gonna push into your right forearm and actively lift your body away from the ball. Don't just relax down onto the ball here. That's not what it's for. I want you to push into your forearm and actively lift your body away from the ball. Inhale, bend. Exhale, depress. We're gonna go for three. Squeeze your glute when you push back, two. Now on this last one, we're gonna hold our leg out. We're gonna inhale, kick straight forward. Make sure it stays in line with your hip. Exhale, kick back. Inhale forward, we can kick slightly back behind the body. Make sure, again, that that leg stays lifted in line with your hip. It does not drop down to the floor. Push into your right shoulder and actively lift your body away from the ball. Keep the right shoulder out of the ear, inhale forward, exhale back. Let's go for three, two. Okay, on our last one, we're gonna hold it in line with the hip. Flex the foot, give me little circles of this leg around, like little dessert plate size circles, maybe dinner plate size circles. The foot is flexed, it's parallel to the floor. For three, two, one, then we reverse for eight. Little circles right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. Bring your right shoulder out of your ear. Three, two, one, relax. Take that strap off of your foot. Now, stay here. Form is gonna stay down. Left foot is gonna go back onto jump board. Right leg is gonna be relaxed. We're gonna do 10 jumps with our left leg. Exhale away, inhale back. I'm holding onto the shoulder blocks too with my hands. The hips stay stacked, shoulders stay stacked. Feel free to squeeze your glute every time you press out. Four, three, abs are in two, and one. Come all the way back in. We're gonna go ahead, change to the other side. Adjust that ball, lie on your left side. Again, the ball should be right underneath your ribs, kind of waistline area. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. Grab the strap that's out in front of you. <clears throat> Long loop goes onto your top foot. Both knees should be bent at that 90. And then the top leg is lifting hip distance. Ready, we exhale to press, kick it slightly back. Inhale, bend, press, little kick, bend. Again, push your left forearm down and actively lift your body away from the ball. I don't want you to relax down onto the ball. That's not what it's for. It's for a little tactile feedback here. Think actively lift away. So if we, our body couldn't touch the ball, it would not touch the ball. Press and bend, exhale and inhale. Squeeze your glute, make sure that that leg stays lifted. Make sure the leg and foot stay parallel to the floor for four more. Three, don't let it drop down past the hip. Two, do not let that left shoulder go into your ear. Last one, hold. Ready, kick forward and back. Whew. Forward, exhale back. Again, that leg stays lifted in line with your hip. Push into that left forearm, take your left shoulder out of your ear. Inhale forward, exhale back. The second side is always so much worse. Think squeeze your glute to kick back. Four, try to keep that shoulder out of your ear. Three, two, okay, on this last one, we hold it in line with the hip, we flex the foot, we do little circles for eight, seven, it's like dinner plate side circles. Hurry, two, one, reverse, feel those glute mends. Little circles, try to push into your forearm, keep that shoulder out of your ear. Three, two, one, relax. Ooh, okay. We're taking that strap off of our foot. We're hanging it back up. I'm gonna grab onto the shoulder block with both hands. Hips stay stacked, shoulders are stacked. Right foot is on the jump board. 10 jumps out and in. Exhale, inhale, think squeeze your butt as you go out. I'm giving my leg just a little kick back. Five. 
three, two, we're still lifting away from the ball, last one, and in. Okay, once we come back in, we're gonna go ahead, take our balls out. When we get our balls out, let's lie back down onto our formers, but you are going to keep those balls. Balls are going to go in between our knees. Again, we're still just on a red spring. Arms are going to be at our sides. We're gonna do 10 jumps with the ball in between our knees. We're gonna exhale away, inhale back. Every time we jump out, squeeze the ball. Again, low backs are flat. Exhale out, squeeze, inhale back. Four, should feel pretty light with both legs. Two, and one. Okay, now the ball is gonna go into our hands. Feet stay on your jump board, we're gonna push out. Come into a Pilates stance so your heels are together, toes are turned apart. Ball is gonna go right onto your pubic bone, right around your groin. And then when we are here, the higher the feet, the more challenging for your core, the lower your feet, the easier. Again, we're in our Pilates stance. Heels together, toes are turned apart, balls on your pubic bone, hands are on the ball. We're gonna do roll ups. Take an inhale first. On the next, I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest, squeeze my glutes, and we're gonna roll our spines up. So we're coming all the way up if we can. Roll towards your toes, tuck your pelvis, roll all the way back down. You are most likely going to have to shift in and out of your shoulder blocks. Nod the chin to the chest, squeeze the glutes, scoop into the abs, roll up. Take an inhale at the top, exhale, tuck our pelvises, roll the spines back down, squeeze in and out of those shoulder blocks. Two more, scoop to lift, inhale, roll our spines all the way back down. Last one, we roll up. Okay, when we come up, we're gonna pause. We're gonna take the balls behind our backs. Make sure that your butt is fully supported by your carriage though. So if you need to scoot your booty back, scoot it a little further back. Ball again is right on your lumbar spine. We're not relaxing on the ball here. We're just pushing it behind us. We're using our core to hold us. Hands are gonna hold onto the two front corners of the carriage. Stay in your plotty stance, bend the knees. Okay, ready? Tuck the pelvis again, stability comes from your core, not the ball. We're gonna do 10 jumps, exhale out, inhale back. Scoop into those abs. Again, you're using your core and not the ball to stabilize you here. So if you were to take the ball out, you'd be in the same position. Exhale, inhale, four, three, two, and one. Okay, then once we come in, sit off to the side. We are going to add on a light spring with your red. So one heavy, one light spring, lie yourselves down, and then we're gonna set the balls to the sides as well. Okay, done with the balls. We're going to go back into some jumps. Heels are together, toes are turned apart. We're moving into Pilates stance for 10 jumps. When you are here, you can either keep your heads down or if you would like to add in a little extra challenge, you can curl up into an abdominal curl. You can have your hands at your sides or behind your heads. Otherwise, you can keep your heads down. I think I'm gonna curl mine up today just for a little extra challenge. 10 jumps in your Pilates stance. Exhale out, inhale back, abs. Draw in again, my low back is flat for my jumps today. If you're curled, curl from your bra line. Look to your core. Hands can either be at your sides or behind your head. Three, two, and one. Pause in, wide second position. Feet are all the way out to the sides, externally rotated. Again, heads are either up or down. That is up to you. 10 jumps in your wide second. Exhale out, inhale back. As far as you can go, scoop into those abs. Four. Five. This is eight. And 10. Come back in. Okay. Once we come in, feet are going to be parallel on the jump board, and we're just going to do 10 parallel jumps. So, when we're ready, exhale out, inhale back. Heads are up or down, that's up to you. Eight, nine, 
and 10. Relax. Okay. A couple more things and then we're out of jumps. We're going to keep our feet parallel with each other. We're gonna move into jumping jacks so that when I jump out, I'm gonna land with my feet wide. Then the next time I jump out, I'm gonna land center. So we go wide, center, wide, center. Every time we jump, that is one. We're gonna do 10 total. Again, heads up or down, that's up to you. So we exhale, we jump out for one, land wide, jump out for two, land center. Jump out, land wide, jump out, land center. That's four. Eight, nine, and 10. Then once we come back in, pause it. Cross country skis, right foot to the top, left foot to the bottom, 10 total. Jump out, left foot top, right foot bottom, jump out, right foot top, left foot bottom. We alternate right and left. Heads up or down, up to you for those cross country skis. Nine and 10, okay. Last thing will be downhill, feet go parallel. They're on the right side of the jump board. We're gonna jump switch to the left side, jump switch right, jump switch left. The pelvis will move again. Heads up or down, that's up to you. 10 total, exhale out. Inhale back, curls or no curls. Again, the pelvis will move when we alternate right and left. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, Woo, all the way in, and then feel free to give ourselves a bit of a stretch. Okay, we're gonna sit off to the sides. Let's go into some arms, and then after our arms, we'll move into some glute work. So we're gonna go one medium spring on our reformers, or one blue on mine, one medium, everything else comes off. We're gonna kneel on our reformers facing our jump boards. When we kneel, feet are gonna be up against the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna reach behind me, grab my straps into my hands. Long loops are lighter, short loops are heavier for the arms. Be very careful when you kneel, you're stabilizing from your legs, your glutes, and your core. So when we come up, we don't fall forward. Elbows are bent into your sides, palms are flipped up. We're gonna exhale, reach both arms out, shoulder chest height, we bend to come back in. We exhale to reach away, we inhale, we come back. Again, legs, glutes, core, work to stabilize us here. Shoulders are staying down and back when we reach our arms forward. We exhale, we reach, we inhale to bend, come back in. Out and in, let's go for four. Two, and then last one. Okay, when we bend to come back in, let's pause in. We're gonna add in. So we're gonna reach the arms back out, pause. We open the arms out to the side of the room. They don't go past our peripheral. We bring them back shoulder distance away. We bend to come back in. We exhale to reach. We inhale to open again. They don't go past your peripheral. And then when your arms come back in, they should be shoulder distance apart. They don't come together. It's an exhale to reach, an inhale to open, an exhale to close, and an inhale to come back. Out, open, close, return for three, two, and then last one. When we go out, open, close, return. We can go ahead and just sit our butts back, hang our straps back up. Now, run one medium spring, we're gonna add on a red with it. So keep that medium spring on, add on one heavy spring or one red on my balance body. So we have one heavy, one medium. We're rotating now so that we're facing our straps, our hands are on the outsides of our headrest. If your wrists are an issue, Drop down onto our forearms. We're gonna move into some glutes. Shoulders over the hands, hips right over the knees. Shoulders, hips parallel to the floor, abs are into the back. The left knee stays down. The right foot is going to jump out. We're gonna exhale out, inhale back. Exhale away, inhale back. Little lift of that leg to get into your glute max. We're stabilizing from your shoulders and your core. Abs into your back. Jump, little lift of the right leg back. Jump, little lift back. We have five, 
four, three, two, and one. Okay, pause in. Stay on the right side. Our right hand goes to the very outside. Left form goes into our headrest. We're gonna externally rotate to the right side. Toes, knees, hips, and shoulders should all point slightly to the right. Ready, we're gonna jump out with the right leg again in that external rotation. Out, in, out, in. I'm doing a little lift of my leg every time I jump out. Seven more. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Okay, once we come back in, we can pause. Ooh, if you need to give your glutes a little bit of a stretch, you can, mine's cramping up a little bit. Okay, same thing on the left side. Shoulders over the hands, hips right over the knees. Stabilize from your shoulders and your core. Right knee stays down, left foot on your jump board. We're gonna exhale out, inhale back. Little lift of that leg every time we jump out. We have 10 more. Abs are into your backs. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. Last thing for those glutes. Left hand to the outside, right form down. Externally rotate toes, knees, hips, and shoulders. Out and in. 15 jumps, three, four, stay in the next turn rotation. Five more, four, three, feel that glute need, two, one, and in. Okay, feel free to stretch back. And then we're going to change to two outside red springs or two heavy springs on our reformer. The other ones can come off. So just two heavies, lie yourselves down. Okay, once we get down, we're gonna grab our long loops. They're gonna go onto our feet for some feet and straps. Now, when you get your straps on your feet, legs can go straight up, low backs can be flat. Tug on your robes, give yourselves a little stretch. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, then legs are gonna go up just as high as we can hold our neutral spines. We're gonna come into our Pilates stance to start. Heels are together, toes are turned apart, also known as your external or lateral rotation. We are going to lower our legs down one time towards our springs, we're gonna pause. We're opening the legs out to the sides, bringing our heels back together, and then we're gonna hinge at our hips to come back up. We're gonna exhale lower, inhale open, stay in that same plane as you close, hinge, come back up. It's an exhale to lower, inhale open, Exhale, close. Inhale, hinge. Maintaining, as always, our neutral spines the entire time. Should feel our adductors, our inner thighs, working to bring the legs together. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, hinge for three. This is the last one. Down, open, close, return. Pause at the top, come into your internal rotation. So toes are together, heels are turned apart. We're gonna exhale, lower the legs back down, pause. Inhale, open them out to the sides. Exhale, bring the toes together. Inhale, hinge, come back up. So again, we lower down, we open, we close, and then we hinge, come back up. Now just make sure when you open your legs, out to the sides, you're still in that internal or that medial rotation, so your toes are always pointed towards each other. They do not go parallel or even in that external rotation. Stay in that internal. 
It's an exhale to lower, and inhale to open, and exhale to close, and inhale to hinge. Again, we should feel those adductors working to bring those legs together, and we wanna think same plane as we open and close. Two more. And then last one. Okay, once we come up, pause, bring your feet parallel, neutral spine. We're gonna lower our legs down towards our springs, open them wide out to the sides, and we're just gonna circle around and back up for some leg circles. We exhale to lower. We're inhaling to circle around and back up. Sacrum is heavy. Pelvis just stays nice and still. That movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. We go down, around, and up. Nice big circles to open up your hips and adductors. Two more in this direction. Then last one. Then once we come up, we're gonna pause, reverse. We open the legs wide, press down and around. We zip them together. We should again feel our inner thighs working to bring those legs together. Let's do three, two, and one. Okay, once we come up, pause. I'm gonna let my legs go straight up, let my low back go flat. I'm gonna open my legs wide today, pull on those straps, give my hamstrings and adductors a stretch. I always like to do a little like rock from side to side when I'm here. Okay, we're gonna take our straps off of our feet, hang them back up, and we're gonna stay lying down. We're gonna go right ankle to the left knee for our figure four stretch. We can push the right knee away from us. We can hug our left leg in towards us. We should feel a deeper stretch with our foot on the jump board today rather than when it's on the foot bar. And we're just breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, then we're gonna switch. Left ankle, right knee. One side might feel a little different than the other. Same thing as before, if you wanna push your left knee out away from you, you can. If you wanna even hug your right leg in towards you, you can. Again, we should get a deeper stretch with the jump boards on today. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Getting that heart rate down. And then just a couple more deep breaths. Okay, we're gonna untangle ourselves. We can sit off to the sides. You are all finished with your stamina workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much guys. Have a great rest of your day.